Hi, my name is David and you're watching my quick review of the latest Dyson V11 outsize cordless vacuum cleaner. We've been having this vacuum cleaner for over a month now and um, we're loving it. Um, it is a great vacuum cleaner. The thing I love about this vacuum cleaner is that we can actually finish the whole house on one battery charge. Um, our house is an average size four bedroom house. So um, yeah, we can finish the house, you know, under 40 minutes. So that's good. The other thing I love about this um, is the size of the bin. Uh, we, previously we had a Dyson V6, smaller bin size, smaller battery, but obviously this one is much bigger bin. We don't have to empty out the bin as much, um, so we don't waste time. Uh, also, the torque head itself, the torque head is a lot wider. Um, it means that we can finish um, the vacuuming a lot quicker as well. Then the we got the tool holder. Um, this is a really neat little feature. It holds your little um, your crevice tool. Um, and also your multi um, brush heads. Um, the other feature that I love is the battery quick release. Previous model, um, you couldn't pull out the battery. You have to also screw, you have to unscrew it to get it out. Um, this is quite a good feature. Um, if you have another battery, you can easily um, slot another one in. And also, um, when it comes to emptying out your bin, let me show you. Um, it's actually quite easy. Now, I've actually got like a, a lever where you can basically point, push lever, and all your rubbish comes straight out. With the old model, all your rubbish tends to clog around the filter and it's really hard to get out. Um, this one hasn't really missed a beat. Um, it's very, very good. Um, right, yes, um, last but not least, the thing I love is the battery indicator. So let me show you. As you vacuum, I'm on auto mode at the moment. Um, it shows me how much battery life I've got left on the auto, um, which is excellent. Uh, previous model, none of that, and you always have to guess how much battery you got available. So the three mode, there's an the eco mode, obviously give you more battery, but obviously less suction. Then down to the boost mode, you get the lowest um, amount of battery, but obviously you get extra power. Uh, generally, we just leave it on auto. It's because um, it automatically adjusts uh, the type of flooring um, that you are on. So um, it's, yeah, we just leave it on auto um, and it just does the job. Um, I'm not sure you um, hear it before, but I, I found the, uh, the, the vacuum cleaner is actually not as noisy as the previous model. Um, this is quite good. The, the noise zone was a lot, lot quieter, than, quieter than the previous model. Uh, the only negative I um, uh, think of is uh, this, this vacuum cleaner, this can be quite heavy um, for its size. Um, if you do a 20 minute to 30 minute non-stop vacuum, um, it can be quite tiring. It's basically like holding a small toddler um, on your arm. But other than that, um, it's a great machine. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, um, I can't really fault it. My final thought is that um, if you never own a cordless uh, vacuum cleaner before, I would suggest um, you know, definitely get something like this size or this machine, uh, purely because a smaller machine or the, the, the smaller Dyson is not going to, you know, finish it, the job for you. Probably only do half the job. Whereas this machine, do the whole house, top and top to bottom, um, not a problem. Um, excellent machine, um, highly recommended. Two thumbs up. Um, so that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you enjoy watching um, and we'll see you next time.